what's good everyone and welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to be telling you the best way to macro rerolls yes i know i get this question asked a lot to this day people still ask me how to macro the rerolls so i'm just going to do this video so everyone knows and then i don't have to keep explaining myself so let's jump straight into the video okay for this macro it's going to be tower of eternity so over here as you can see this is tower of eternity you get a lot of trade rerolls if you you do macro it overnight so i'm going to tell you the best method and the best characters to use and the best way to actually do it if i was you i would probably get jade knight if you're starting off he's a very easy character to get and i would just slap a brawl free or maybe a swiftness trait on him because this unit will actually help you easily progress through tower of eternity but if you have better units such as shadow dragon or even a gojo or even a igris well we'll be using them so I'm going to show you the easiest way to macro this. As you can see, I have loaded up a fresh account. I have Natsu and I have the new Jade Knight. So I'm going to be showing you how to easily macro Tower of Eternity. So what you want to do is you want to go into the tower first. Okay, so once you have loaded in, you have Tiny Task open and you're also defeating the first wave. You have to defeat the first wave for this to actually start but this macro will be in the discord down below so make sure you grab it so you don't have to record your own or you can always record your own it is completely fine and coming back from als this game is actually so slow it looks painfully slow <laughs> i don't even know why but it's fine so while natsu is killing them all and you know just taking over the tower we are going to get right into the settings of tiny Tass. So I'm going to break it down so you don't have to struggle when you're trying to set it up yourself. So what you're going to do is go into playback hotkey. You want this to be set as F8. But if you're recording the hotkey, so if you're making your own, record it in F8. Then switch it back, switch playback to F8. So it makes sense. So for me, because I'm going to record it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record it in F8. Then you want the speed to be a one times. Then with the speed as one times, you also want continuous playback. This will make it so it loops and loops and loops. And always on top is useful as well. They are the settings for the tiny task. And if you don't know how tiny task works, you have to click open, select the file that you have downloaded, which will be in the discard, and then just click select, right? And then that's all you gotta do. And then you have to line up your character, which we will get into now. So positioning is a big thing it plays a big factor in this macro because you need to be in the right spot for example i like to line up like this go in shift lock right so once you're in shift lock you want to be lined up with this thing so once you walk forward straight into the middle and stop i like to start right in the middle as you can see if you do want to mid max it you can yeah there you go this is the spot you're going to want to stand on right here if you're not st stood here the macro will have a likely chance of failing what once you have stood here you're going to zoom all the way out like this zooming all the way out getting your head to face this right once you have done all this you have loaded it all up once you have beat the first floor of the tower then you can start the macro i'm going to now run and show you how to do the macro also i did forget to mention make sure you have your upgrades on the left side if you don't know how to do that go into settings and at the bottom here unit info position make sure this is on the left and not world so make sure you do that before you start the macro as well okay so this is the screen that you're going to start the macro but because i'm obviously recording it this is how you do that you press f8 and then you're going to spam play next so what i like to do is because this black screen sometimes lingers for a long time i'm just going to continue to keep clicking and i'm not going to place down for quite a while so just keep spamming right here in the spot where my mouse is i'm gonna have the place on wave three the way i'm gonna do it is it's going to be bypass the black screen kind of you should if you're not in the right spot you won't be able to place like this there we go then we're also going to place here and we're going to place here okay now that we have our natsu's place down we are now going to click on jade finite the reason we want Jade Fire Knight, we're going to place him down as well. We're going to place him down one more time. The reason we have Jade Fire Knight down is just purely because Natsu sometimes doesn't hit the boss. This macro, you want one and three, uh, the units you're going to use. So now I'm going to upgrade Natsu. 
And then we're going to spam upgrade Jade Fire Knight. For this macro, you're obviously going to want to have a level 80 Evo one. I don't. It's just so I can make the macro for you. It's completely fine. Also, whilst we are waiting for this, I just want to say we are nearly at 4K subscribers. And I can't believe it. We have nearly got to 4K in two months, which is insane. I can't thank you guys so much for your support. If you do want to become a member, you get these videos early. So in case, you know, obviously they patch it before, you will get the videos early. You will get all the macros early. You'll get everything early. Do become a member if you want to. Obviously, you don't have to. You can obviously show your support in many different ways, like subscribing or just commenting or liking the video. Obviously, that's completely fine if you do not want to become a member. However, let's get back into the video okay so we are now on way 15 we are going to beat the boss okay a lot of people mess up on this bit so what i like to do is i like to wait just seven minutes and maybe 30 seconds depending on how slow your internet is and because some of the bosses are actually harder to kill so it will take a longer time but i'm going to implement it into my tiny task obviously you can download it make sure you move your mouse a little bit so your screen doesn't go black sometimes that happens for some reason it happens to me it might be my monitor i don't i honestly don't know but it's fine okay so now we're going to stop it at seven minutes and ten seconds okay so that has been everything i will be doing some more videos on anime last stand but as I keep saying in my videos, and I know I keep saying it, we are going to make some different style of content. So it's not just going to be how to do this, what's the best, best units. We are going to slap in some other things. Like, for example, if you have seen Sebi or Moss King or Jonas, they are really big inspirations to me. And they obviously are very cool content creators. So I kind of want to do something like their videos where they obtain the new secret units the new units in general and just how they did it and the progression they did big shout out to them obviously they probably won't see this video but they are a huge inspiration to me anyway this has been milk and have an amazing day